Welcome back to me today. Tonight we have a special performance, well, a special guest tonight. He's an Italian uh, musician, jazz musician, and he'll be performing here in Jakarta also. So let's check out the clip before we interview him. His name is Francesco Cafiso. He's an Italian jazz musician who plays alto saxophone. He began playing at age 9 and made his debut in 2001. In 2003, he toured Europe with Witten Marsalis. Witten Lerson Marsalis is a well-known trumpeter, composer, music director, an artistic director of jazz at the Lincoln Center in New York City in the United States. Marsalis has promoted the appreciation of classical and jazz music often to young audiences. In 2005, at the age of 16, Francesco won Italy's version of the Golden Django. Recently, he received a diploma for the flute. On January 19, 2009, he played in Washington, D.C. during the festivities in the honor of President Barack Obama and Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yes, and we're back right now in MSC Today, and we have a special guest, and it's an honor, and we want to welcome Francesco Cafiso. Hello. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Ah, pale Indonesiano. Un po', a little bit. All right, I'm going to speak a little bit of Italian because I'm not Italian. All right. Uh, come stai? Benissimo. Uh, come si trova in Indonesia? Eh, questo è il, il tuo... Uh, come si dice? La uh, your prima, first time. First time. La, prima La prima volta, volta no? in Italia. Sì, in Indonesia. Sì, sono felicissimo di essere qui perché è uno dei posti più belli, eh, ricchi di cultura e affascinanti che abbia mai visto e visitato. Ok, okay yes, I'm very happy to be here. This is um, my first time here in Indonesia. Right. And um, I'm very happy because this is um, a country that is rich right. of culture right. and art. Ma, for example, uh, when you came over here, three days ago, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Ho sentito che uh, I heard that um, you made a you made a small concert and in Sunset City Mall and also, and and also a workshop. How, how was that? It was great. Ho, ho fatto una sorta di appunto masterclass con eh, molti ragazzi mm -hmm. e per me è stato un modo per insomma avere uno scambio culturale con eh, e musicisti che sono venuti ad ascoltarmi e a conoscermi. Okay. E io credo che sia fondamentale per un musicista poter prendere tutto quello che c'è in ogni parte del mondo per far crescere sempre di più il proprio bagaglio culturale e artistico. Ok, okay the workshop went so well. Uh, right. I was very happy. There were a lot of um, young people, people then. Right, And um, kids, right. yeah, uh, I was very happy, uh, especially because it was. Um, a cultural exchange right, true. and um, for a musician it's um, it's very important to have these moments to to um, to be able to culture to, right. to exchange to the exchange culture, the culture yeah. also perché saxophone why saxophone why not flute or drums or guitar uh, beh in realtà quando ho iniziato ero veramente un bambino avevo sette anni okay. i was a little kid Right. Eh, seven <laughs> years old, yeah. <laughs> eh, questo lo dico sempre senza pretese. Probabilmente è stata la musica jazz, è stato il sassofono, il sassofono che mi ha, mi ha scelto. Eh, ero veramente piccolo e quindi non ero in grado di poter decidere eh, appunto di cosa farne della mia vita. E invece la musica è arrivata e insomma da allora non mi sono mai più fermato. Ok, okay I was very, um, I was a little kid. Right, little yeah, kid. yeah, I had like seven years old. Right. Um, well, actually the, the saxophone itself that choose me. Right. I'm not the one who choose saxophone. And, um, and also the jazz, uh, I guess, um, I think the, the music, the jazz is, um, uh, the jazz is choose me. Okay. I'm not choosing jazz. The jazz. Mm. Okay, uh, I heard that you, you had a great experience with uh, Wynn Marsalis. How was that experience? È stato stupendo perché ho avuto modo di aprire il suo set al Pescara Jazz Festival, one of the greatest jazz festivals in Italy. 
e, e Winton eh, era lì, mi ha ascoltato e dopodiché ha deciso di invitarmi per insomma, seguirlo in tour nell'estate successiva, cioè quella okay. del 2004. 2004. 2004. Sì, uh, was one of the biggest experiences in all, all my life, you know. Ok, so basically and also you went to, you went to New Orleans. How was that experience? I heard uh, saying that I started to need it. Sì. Uh, to learn English also mm -hmm. and also you know to be a musician how was that experience? è stato incredibile perché ho avuto modo di apprezzare insomma la cultura del posto e soprattutto ho fatto tutto ciò che un musicista locale mm -hmm. fa in genere ho suonato con le marching bands marching band. ho suonato sui balconi okay. jazz clubs okay. e respirare l'atmosfera impregnata di, di musica jazz a New Orleans e questo è quello che comunque cerco di fare sempre in tutto il mondo sì. Okay, it was a great experience. Kind of lost, yeah, it, was, right? <laughs> it was too long, actually. Okay, it was a great experience right. um, because I, I was able to to um, to appreciate the the local life mm. of musician right. there, and um, this is what what I try when I travel around the world. Mm -hmm. So, 2009, say I'm out of Washington D.C. Si. Uh, Obama, and, and and also you played on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. How was that like? Una Questa dream. <laughs> yeah, it was a dream. Probabilmente è stata una delle tappe più importanti del mio percorso artistico perché insomma mi sono ritrovato lì a condividere la musica con il gota del jazz mondiale e, e soprattutto in un contesto storico sociale così importante. Quindi okay. sicuramente è, è insomma una grandissima esperienza. It was a very um, crazy experience. Yeah. It was really crazy. <laughs> it was really crazy experience, <laughs> and uh, I was very happy to be to be able to be there okay. um, with the other great um, musicians uh, of the world. Okay. And um, what was that? <laughs> did you get Did you get famous? Sei fatto famoso after playing in Obama's inauguration in anche Beh, in realtà il vero esploa mediatico c'è stato al rientro dal tour con Winton nel 2004. Ok. Eh, e Obama sicuramente mi ha dato l'opportunità di avere ancora più visibilità. Più visibilità. Yeah. Ok. Well, the more famous. So yeah, so basically the because real, of that, yeah, the real it made him famous. Uh, explosion was uh, after the Winton. Ok. Call and me, yeah. yeah. On 2004. On 2004. Yeah. Yeah. Ok. And then um, with the Obama experience, um, it, it became more than more, that. More than that. So basically, last questions. Tomorrow you have a, small, uh, you have a concert. How, will we see any any great things or what will you show us tomorrow concert? Uh, great music. Great music. <laughs> <laughs> of course. The love of jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And